when connecting to a data source that contains hierarchical data, such as SAP NetWeaver BW Bex queries, you must use the hierarchical table component to display your results if you want to be able to interact with the hierarchy. In this tutorial, you will bind data from a Bex query to a hierarchical table component in a dashboard. Note that a query has already been added that contains a result object for a hierarchy. Add the hierarchical table component to the canvas. Click Components. Click to expand the selectors folder. Click to drag and drop the hierarchical table onto the canvas. Note that the hierarchical table component displays sample data, with arrows that enable you to expand and collapse nodes in the hierarchy. Next, bind the component to the query data. Click Hierarchical Table 1. Click the list to the right of the data text box. Select Query Data. By default, the product hierarchy is already selected. If multiple hierarchies were included in the same query, you would choose one of the options to display. Define the measure to display for the product hierarchy. Select the Order Amount checkbox. Click OK. Note that the hierarchical table now displays the data from the query, rather than the sample data. You can also configure how the data is displayed in the table. Click Hierarchical Table 1. In the Properties, you can configure the individual columns and choose the default display for the table. Click Configure Columns. Note that you can change the order of the columns, edit the column headers, change the width of the columns, or hide columns. Make the first column wider to better display the data. Double-click in the column with cell for the first row. Type 200, and then press Enter. Click OK. Preview the results. Click Preview. Note that you can expand and collapse nodes in the hierarchy within the table. Click to collapse the Product Adult node. Click to collapse the Product Kids node. Click Preview again to return to the workspace. You have successfully displayed hierarchical data in the dashboard. This is the end of the tutorial.